Hey guys, and welcome back to Hard Edge or Trag. Anyway, when we last left off, we defeated a Scorpion boss and managed to get to the 26th floor as... Was it the 26th floor or the 27th floor we made it to? Uh, I can't remember. Also, my controller's not working. Now it's working. This is excellent. Uh, might have been the... No, it's the 28th floor? 27th floor we made it to yes and we discovered a big bomb which was a little bit awkward because um we got interrupted by a man called gas anus or something and he uh you know dropped our previous characters into somewhere rather unpleasant anyway we're back as uh alex here and i'm not 100 percent sure where we're going but we did survive our uh, misfortunes. Ooh, hello. You know, these would be really useless mines. It's got to be said, this music is rather excellent. That's so nice to... Ooh, hello. Um... Let's say, it's kind of nice to have... Alex again with a gun, although trying to remember how the gun works. Uh, we're apparently stuck in the door, which is not great. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Also, maybe the gun's not quite as good as I remember. But we got some health, so that's good. Okay, so we're in a new... No, this isn't a new area. This is where we were before, wasn't it? It's showing the central operation room. Yes, I remember. I remember. There are quite a few things laying around. None of them are much use. Okay. So where is this on the map? Right, we're back in there. Uh, okay. So how, pray tell, do we get back to where we need to be? Right, let's just keep going for now and see what happens, shall we? Let's keep exploring. Ah, we have stairs. Oh, right. I remember. Hey, dude. The system disk is hidden in the jukebox. Oh. This. Well, yeah, but that would... We cut... The jukebox is on floor 26, I believe. So we've got another medal. And the man died. Okay. Right, so we need to go back down to the jukebox. But... Don't think we can get to the jukebox though, can we? Because the jukebox was on the level below us. Unless now we can use... I don't know. Let's have a wander around see what we can find. Right. Yes, the magical chair. There must have been a violent search for something. Yeah, I wonder if that's the disc he was talking about. I remember this. We can actually go somewhere. Does this just lead upstairs? Maybe. Ah, I know where that room is. Hang on, can we open that door? I wonder. Let's try this a minute. This might just be a humongous waste of time. And there is no need to run that slowly down the stairs. Absolutely no need at all. Oh, enemies are back. 
Thanks, bud. Now, how did... Oh, bullets. How do we change our ammo? There we go. We've only got 100 high explosives. But... It does a little bit more damage. Not a huge amount more, but... It does more. Those things aren't much of a threat. Now the only problem is... Um, oh, hi. These come back as well, apparently. Ow! Yeah, let's switch back up to standard bullets. Yeah, they're all back as well. Because of course they are. So mines respawn. Maybe they do have a use then, if they're magical respawning mines. That's where we kicked our way out of. So what's through here? Need a keycard A to open the door. Of course we do. We don't have keycard A. Brilliant. I guess we're going to go back through this room. Yeah, so the aiming mechanics don't seem to be working very well. Or maybe I've just forgotten how to use them. Which is absolutely possible. Let's be fair here. You know what? Can I just... Can I just not use the gun and... No? I... I'm just stuck in the corner, am I? Yeah, just stuck. Just gonna... Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna die. Ah. Uh... So when you're stuck in the corner, you're kind of fucked. Okay. So, um, this is a problem because we didn't save it for a while, did we? It's always a gamble which one is uh, accept and which one is, you know, back. It was there. We're going to have to do this again, aren't we? We're going to have to go fight Thingy again. Although, the good news is... Yeah, we've got burns. The good news is we should be able to save a significant amount of time by cheesing the boss. Should we try it? And then I'll skip and get us back to where we were. Let's just see if I can save some time and fast forward this at least. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Right, okay. Now, if I get him stuck, and where is he gonna be? Oh, he stopped moving. Ah, we can just sneak up behind him. Oh, man. Yes, and we can just, like, donkey punch him and then run away. My God, guys, we can save so much health here using these tactics that we have unlocked. The secret knowledge, if you will. Let's wait for him to chill out. Now, which way round is he going? I guess it doesn't... Ah, he's over here. Oh, man. We might not get hit here at all if we play our cards right. Might have to start using safe states, actually. Just when we get past this guy. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, that works. Oh, no. Oh, we did get... We did take some damage. Right, okay. Let's leave him. Can we turn around? Is that a thing that we can do with a character? I think we can. Alright, we did take a little bit of damage, which is unfortunate, but... We should be able to do... At least a little bit better. Yeah, so if you don't stun him... You're in trouble, basically. 
but yeah, he gets a bit excited. Starts getting the zoomies like a young cat. And then they'll chill out. It'll, it'll go back to patrolling, and we'll punch him in his electronic anus. Yeah, the combat in this game um, is not good. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Okay, okay. Yep, he's getting way too excited for my liking. But he does get stuck on the scenery when he goes through there, which kind of helps us out significantly. Oh, and he we can even see which way he's coming back round because he glitches through the scenery. Nice. See, in most games, glitching through the scenery like that would be a bad thing. But it actually significantly helps us out here. Ah, oh, come on. All right, we actually did manage to do a decent amount of damage there. It's a strange boss, to be honest. Uh, I'm not a fan. It's uh, kind of mediocre, I would say. It's not a very interesting boss. It's one of those bosses that I like to think more of as time wasters. But, you know, it's not the most offensive boss that I've ever played against. It's not bad, it's just mediocre. Tedious, I think, would be the way to put it. But then, to be fair, you know, this is an old game. They only had so much that they could do. So much to work with. Oh, God. Yep. Okay, this isn't going overly well. Oh, what the fuck was that? We can punch the ground and paralyze him straight away. Interesting. But that does hurt us doing that. Well, that's good to know. That's really good to know. But he's dead now. We did better. Definitely could have done better again knowing that, that, knowing that combo. Okay, right. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Okay, right, now we're back. Let's try that again with a little bit less failure, shall we? Uh, so... I don't r yeah, I think we'll just stay with the standard bullets. Need the key card A to open the door. Right, of course we do. Of course we do, yes, key card A. Right, let's set this uh, chain of explosives off. There we go. Uh, of course. Let's go for a double back there. That'll work nicely. Now, let's go back through here. Is there any point in fighting these guys? I wager there probably isn't. Yeah, considering... No, well, you... Uh, I say there isn't any point in fighting these guys. But the trouble is... You get stuck on these enemies. And the, I'm still not really sure what the buttons do <laughs> when it comes to fighting. There's four different characters. And they're all completely different. Um, for example, you know, pushing uh, square is your only attack button. But pushing up, down, left, right and certain different combinations, uh, you know, do different things. But they do different things for each character as well. And not all characters use all of the attacks. So, for instance, uh, Alex here might have a down and X attack. Whereas Michelle doesn't have a down and X attack. And it's just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Hey, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad. So sad. Right. Now, I guess we're going to... Oh, Jesus Christ. And sometimes pushing A and X on my control pad, which would be X and uh, square together, does a special attack like that. And that doesn't do anything if you do the same thing as Michelle. It, yeah. You would have thought all the inputs would be the same for all the characters. Or at least 
very similar. But I guess not. So, can we not go back up the chair? Ah, we can. You just... Yeah, again, remember what I said. How difficult it actually is to activate items. But I do like this chair. I might have to get one for the gaming room. One that transports me to the front room. Or maybe even to the bedroom. And dumps me straight out into my bed. <gasps> yes! I like this. I'm going to get me that exact same chair. I'm going to build it into my house. Right. Okay, cool. Now, so we're back here. Okay, so where do... Ooh, right, that's why... I've totally forgotten about that. That's why there's a big disconnect to where we can actually go. What was through here then? Why was this area blocked off? Ah, yes, this is where we had the robotic crawler, dude. And we can't go through here, can we? No. Need a keycard A. Yeah, we're really stuck without keycard A. All right. So, I guess we're going to go through here. Be nice to come up against an actual save point, which actually I don't think is too far away. No, there's one in this room. Excellent. Oh, it's going to feel so good to actually put down a proper save. Oh, yes. Because I don't like relying on... Oh, that was really, really hard to activate that save point. Um, yeah, I don't like relying too much on, on uh, save states. Now, apparently there's two endings to this game. Uh, I have just seen a comment, actually. That was actually put down, like, a... Come on, around the corner, Alex. Uh, which was actually put down about a week ago. And I haven't seen that comment before. It seems to have been lost in the YouTube algorithm. Explaining about the two endings. Right, so what's going on? We have cut... Ooh! <gasps> oh! Hey, you okay? Hang in there. Oh, cool. Uh, that no good punk gosh. He fell down from up there. I guess we're not going to the sewer. We've got to get him to the sick room for first aid. A eh, big guy like that. I'm sure he's fine. So Got the whole gang together? Question mark. He's coming around. You look like a friend of hers. That's good. What happened up there? They've planted a huge bomb upstairs. playing at but if we don't deactivate that bomb this building will be blown to kingdom come well that's bad <sighs> but you're in no condition to move don't worry about me takes more than this to keep me down <laughs> He moves slow and he talks slower. You wait here while we go deactivate that bomb. Uh, was he who who was he talking to? Oh, is Michelle down and out then? At least for the medium term. I guess she is. Okay. Well, I want to play as Alex. That's unfortunate. She's unconscious. Let 
let her to rest for now. Okay, I will let her to rest for now. That's fine. So now I'm guessing with the, we've got like card A and oh wow, well, all the cards actually. How do we get out of here? Ah oh, yes, I remember things about stuff. Cool. So she's in the medical wing. Where does that put us? That puts us down here. Right, I wonder. Oh man, we're gonna have to like go the long way around. See, we've got that room right at the bottom. Research lab A. I'm wondering if we can do anything in there now. But we really do have to go around the houses to get down there, don't we? We've got to use the chair. Yeah. And it's a long way round just to see if it works. But let's... Ah, oh, fuck. And I've really got to stop wasting my health. Right, let's see if we can do that. I think if there's going to be like any enemies around, I might just run past them. Oh, hang on. I've got a little man with a with a knife. There's no point running past these guys because they're literally pathetic. More bullets. We'll have those. Oh, there's a, another little man with a little knife. And I still don't get those weird towers that drop mines. That has to be one of the most pointless, useless enemies. Just stupid enemy designs that I think I've ever seen. Who needs health? If I could stop pushing the right button, that'd be great. I guess Rachel needs health the most. Really don't like Rachel, but I guess we'll get her some health. Oh, she moves. Oh, hello. Uh, no. I don't like Rachel. Her moves are terrible and she should feel bad. Really, Alex? Really? Sometimes I question you. Now, what does that do? Ah, explosives. Sure, we'll take them. Right, so, quite. Ah, we've missed... We don't have the marker on our map anymore. Curious. Right, well, let's go through here. Now, the only trouble with Alex, of course, is he has a finite amount of ammo. Oh, Yeah, great. Just, you know, miss every shot. Sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, Alex is just really not good. If he's stuck in a corner. Alright, let's top Rachel up again for free. Because we might as well. Now, are we going to get... Okay, so we can still get bullets. Uh, do we want to check this? This must be the power source for the lifts. There's a space for the battery. Oh, right, yeah, we can't use the battery anymore, can we? Because we've taken it. Oh, right, yes. Okay, that's fine. She really does move quite quickly, though. I like that. It's just a shame that she does no damage. But I get... Ooh! Ooh, wait a minute. No, we've already opened these rooms up. Okay. I was going to say... Oh, that's a one-way door. Of course it's a one-way door. So how do we... We have to go the other way round, don't we? We do. Why would you have a one-way door? Like, it's literally there just to block your access. <sighs> bad game design. Very bad game design. But, you know, like I say, it's a very early game can't be too hard on it for that. I mean, I can. 
because I, I I can do whatever I like. But um, oh, another safe station. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been here. Uh, we have robots, which we are absolutely not going to fight because there's no point. And we're almost out of time. Now, if we remember, we've opened that door up now. So we can go through there. Which is good. Because that's the best use for a door. To go through it. Right? Doors that don't work aren't much use to us. Um, that's the door there that we want to try. Yeah, that's... We're going to be going the long way. It's impossible to open the door from this. Oh, okay, well, you know what? I, I guess there's only one way we can go. Okay. Who am I to argue? Uh, oh, it's the big scorpion thing. Do we need to fight it? Is there any point in fighting it? Oh, man. I don't think we have to fight it, do we? I don't see why they would lock the emergency exit. Oh, great. Maybe we do have to fight it. We're not going to be fi Oh, no. No, we're just in the wrong door. And we're actually... We're cock-blocked. Which is bad. Yeah, so I guess we're just going to shoot the shit out of it with Alex. Alex, how can you miss it when it's that close? Seriously. We can't get around it, can we? No. We are actually literally stuck in the corner, aren't we? Yes. Now we're free. Okay. Hopefully, we can take it out. Come on. There we go. Whew. Now, is it going to drop anything useful? No, of course not. Okay. Right. So I guess it's this door that we want to go through? It's not that door that we want to go through. Why would it be that door? Now, if I remember correctly, we could actually get that enemy stuck. Yeah, so you probably don't have to fight that thing again. Now, we should be able to go through here. Yes, we use the key card. So, what is through here? Ooh. It is a blue... Ooh, hello. Um. Yeah, this, this, this is not going very well at all, is it? Should not be that hard to shoot an enemy. Right, what does this do? It's a key of some description. But a key to what? Really cool looking key. Disengagement of Oh, disengagement device. I wonder if that's to do with um, the bomb. Probably to do with the bomb. Fine. Hey, found first aid pills. Good. The shelf hasn't been using it for uh, very much. Okay. That's fine. We don't mind it. We're the first to use it for a while. Packing materials. Okay. More packing materials. That's fine. We don't mind packing materials. Some office equipment. Along with some machine. Yeah, all right. All right, well, I guess that's all that's here. Uh, you would have thought all these flashing lights would be indicating stuff, but they're not. Um, now, so we've got a disengagement device, which is curious. Oh. Hang on. We should be able to get to the other floor. Yeah. If my brain is pointing me in the right right direction we can get through this way and this should give us access to the chair 
Uh, well, I mean, kind of. Just die. I kind of remember the gun mechanics being somewhat better than they are. Well, memory does funny things. There we go. Please drop some health. No? Yay! Good man. Okay. Oh, hi. That was really annoying. Great. That's fine, game. Now, let's go take a sit in the chair. If we can actually get the right pixel. There we go. This looks expensive, this chair. Wait, something's not right. Sit down. You really have to go through that again, even though we've already done it? Okay. Sure, why not? Oh, we can skip that cutscene. That's something. Uh, now. There isn't any save points around here, is there? Of course not. Why would there be save points? They put the save points in the most silly of places. But that doesn't really bother us, does it? Because we have F1. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to go through the other room, which I'm guessing is going to let us get up to the next floor. Possibly we're going to be able to get some more disengagement keys. So, anyway, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.